Right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the 20th video of this series. It's most likely going to be one of my favourites. It's DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf is legitimately, probably, probably my favourite wide receiver. Due to the fact that I saw him, I became aware of um, DK Metcalf before he got in the league, right? So I am genuinely watching his whole entire career as a fan, and I'm not coming in halfway through, such as, you know, someone like Antonio Brown, or even though Antonio Brown's one of my favorite players. In fact, my top three receivers right now, guys, from what I know, DK Metcalf, Antonio Brown, just because I love the guy, all right? I know he's not gonna be on this list, so I had to mention him somewhere. And honestly, I could not pick who my third guy is. There is so many. There's Keenan Allen, there's Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Julio Jones, there's Larry Fitzgerald, from what I've seen. OBJ, he's out. In fact, you know what? I've never been that big on OBJ. I really haven't. A guy like DK Metcalf, I'm going to back tenfold over OBJ. But if DK Metcalf starts getting too cocky, I may have to change my tune, because I like the fact that he is humble, although he's coming out with a few quotes these days saying things like, I'm a once-in-a-generation type receiver. People can't mark me. You're going to have to hit me harder than that. And I like that confidence, but if it goes too far, then I'm not sure what we're going to do about it. Anyways, guys, we're at DK Metcalf. I know a few of you will be, you know, watching this one, and I want to say welcome. So let's get into it. And here comes the run on the wide receivers. The Kansas City Chiefs have selected Michael Hardman. Before we get into this, guys, I haven't seen this footage. But I was most likely feeling the exact same way his whole entire family was when he was pushed so far down the list. He got pushed to the end of the second round. Why? Because people think he couldn't move? Why? Because people saw his three-cone drill? What? You really think, you really think that this guy can't move. You really think that this guy can't step, can't juke. This is raw talent. I saw raw, raw talent when I saw him run a 4-3-3. And I knew instantly. He's a superstar. The Philadelphia Eagles select JJ Orsega Whiteside. You gotta be the biggest slap. You gotta be the biggest slap. Why is DK Metcalf slipping? Criticism that he really only ran three routes in college, and certainly there were some stiffness issues getting in and out of his routes. Shut the f. <laughs> DK. Hey, it's John Schneider with his busy ass. Now, at this point, other than the 4-3-3, the only thing that people really knew about DK Metcalf was that photo. Remember that photo that went viral? I do. There was a photo of DK Metcalf in college that went absolutely viral, and this is the one. <laughs> in fact, there was two. There was two. There was this one. Um, if we can... Are we going to be able to zoom in here? No. Um, right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> fuck! Yeah, that was the first one. I think he must have had a pump. No, that, no, he's not in that one. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look, look at that cunt. Look at his bottom abs, right? I just competed in a bodybuilding show. There was guys on stage that did not have their bottom abs out like that, okay? This guy is legitimately... He's not 1.6% body fat. There were rumors he was at 3% body fat in this photo. I would believe it. I believe it. He's at 3% body fat. He is absolutely ripped to shreds, six foot four. And this guy had not even got into the pros yet. This is a college football player. Those were some of the first inklings we got of, of, of DK Metcalf. That was the reason he went viral, even before he started playing in the, in the professional league. So then we saw this. Yes, that is brute power, if I ever did see it. And if you do want to see my reaction to DK Metcalf for the very first time, definitely go and check that video out. But for now, I did prepare this earlier. Look, we're going to get into this now. I'll cover his stats just quickly. Uh, 
22 years of age still. Okay, next month he turns 23. Six foot four, like I said, 230 pounds. Went to Ole Miss, uh, pick number 64, as we're about to see, round two, the final pick of the second round in the 2019 draft. And uh, yeah, he ran a 4.33. He's got a 4.5 20 yard shuttle. He's got a 7.38 three cone drill, which worried a couple of people. And a 40.5 inch vertical, which is, um, well, that's, that's, that is elite. 11 foot 2 inches on the broad jump, which is better than I've, I've you know, better than most. 27, oh, fucking hell. Guys, 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 guys. I think I must have had the same reaction last time. Look at these stats. I don't think you're going to find better for a wide receiver. 433. <laughs> 40.5 inches in the vertical, 11 foot 2 on the broad jump, 27 reps on the bench. I mean, if you look at those stats and you don't actually know what position or how how tall or how, how, how heavy this player is, I don't know how you'd even pick. I do not know. It is a hybrid. It is an absolute hybrid. Once in a lifetime, just like he says, I believe it. You guys believe it. Let's see what everyone else thinks. Bro, I got massive shivers all over my body. I haven't seen DK Metcalf cry ever. That's footage they've hidden. That's footage they've kept for this exact video. That is... Oh, shit, man. Whoa, you see a grown man cry. Hits ya. <laughs> oh shit! Bro, I would have been tearing up as well. Why'd you wait this long? Biggest slide. Why'd you do that to him, man? Why? They got a steal! <laughs> DK Metcalf may have been just the 64th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, but as soon as he arrived in Seattle, he made quite the impression. <laughs> well, DK Metcalf's been special. I think one of the best, you know, rookies in the league. He's gonna be one of the best players in the league. I love that guy. I love both these guys, man. That combination, Wilson to Metcalf. Woo! You know, he's a specimen out there. He's so physical. There's nobody like him. Metcalf's wingspan measured a freakish six foot eleven at the combine. What? Six foot eleven? Okay. The longest wingspan in the UFC is John Jones. He's six foot four, and he's got an eighty-four inch wingspan, which is exactly seven feet. How long was his? Metcalf's wingspan measured a freakish six foot eleven at the. Uh! Guys, any UFC fans out there know how long John Jones is? This guy's wingspan is one inch shorter than John Jones. Can you imagine him in the UFC? The combine, the <laughs> biggest ever recorded by a receiver. And a 40.5 inch vertical. Oh my god, with that wingspan. What are we looking at, guys? Am I overreacting? Quite possibly, but he is one of my favorite players. Fuck. Reaching up, catch. Touchdown! He can also get separation with his 4-3 speed. Yeah, can he, ch he can chase people down too. I gotta watch this guy in person. I have to. Oh, look at it. Go boy! Metcalf led the Seahawks in receiving yards over the second half of the season and finished the year with over 16 yards per catch. Ninth wide receiver. 16 George yards Lawson. per catch! We're sending a message. Let's go. Let's go. I got you. In the playoffs against the Eagles, he had seven catches for 160 yards, including the oh, mate. play of the game. Yes. <laughs> oh, bro. Look how far his arms are stretched out. Oh, 
Oh shit, yeah he is. He's just got to stay healthy. Now I want to see, I want to see exactly how outstretched he was. Look at that. He's running at full pace, guys. Full pace, watching a ball come from over his shoulder. Look at that. Including the biggest play of the game. Specimen. Cheers, Sherman. All right, guys. In the next video, we're looking at uh, the Browns' defensive end. I believe he got. I believe he may have been a rookie last year, but I might be completely wrong. We're about to find out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the second video of the morning. DK Metcalf, I mean, what a player. I've got to meet this guy. I have to meet this guy. I have to get a picture next to this guy. And yes, I'll look like a little kid next to him. But I don't give a fuck. This guy is a legend. He's going to be a legend. He's just got to stay healthy. If you do want to like the video, that'd be great. If you want to subscribe, please do. If you want to head over to www.majorkeyphysics.com. That is the title sponsor of this video. Title sponsor of my channel. And it's my business. Um... I don't employ anybody, it's just me. But if you do like bodybuilding and fitness training, uh, just like it seems most of these NFL football players do, definitely head over to the website and check out our gear. We're New Zealand owned and operated, uh, ship worldwide, and I'm extremely proud of our products. Now, with that being said, there are two other ways that you can support me financially through this, this channel. Um, I don't get paid anything for these videos. This is completely for fun. But it does take up a whole lot of time. And time is money these days, you know. Not, not too much money, but time is money. And so if you do want to support me financially, there's two ways. Patreon, which I have open now for anyone that does want to support. And becoming a channel member here on YouTube. So the choice is completely up to you. Yes or no, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to continue to turn up every single day on this channel and create content. Because I love it. And with that being said... Peace out, guys. Have a great night.